Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you know from my previous video, if you watched it, my name is David and I am a handbag lover. And um, this is not the video I intended to film for my second video. Actually filming this the same day as my very first video, um, which I'll try to link below. I'm trying to figure out YouTube. Um, but I actually have an unboxing for you, which I wasn't supposed to have for probably a couple weeks at the earliest. I bought him so many bags lately, I didn't think I would be buying one soon. We're going on a little trip in a couple weeks and I figured maybe I'd buy one at the outlets there. Um, but this is from my favorite contemporary brand and I've been eyeballing this bag for a while. It comes in two sizes, or it used to, now it only comes in one. And I always wanted the original size, which is the 30 centimeter, I think is what it is size. Um, and can't find it anymore. It was discontinued. Um, now they have the smaller size of the same bag. And it makes me sad because if you search the bag online, it pulls up on one of the outlets and it was marked down to like $298, um, you know, for a contemporary brand. This is a fairly expensive piece. This is a, you know, $600 bag, which compared to Louis Vuitton, where the cheapest bag is, you know, what, $1,200? This is nothing, supposedly, you know, compared to that. But um, for me and this brand, this is the most I've ever spent at this brand. Um, you know, I think they make lovely bags. I absolutely adore them. But when I spend this much money, typically it's a pre-loved item on Fashion File. So this took a while, it took a lot of convincing. Like I said, the size, I prefer the bigger one, but I've watched tons of videos. This thing has so many videos on YouTube. Um, I'm okay that I got the smaller size, mostly because of weight. A lot of people say this bag is heavy. So I am going to try to film an unboxing. So stick around, wait with me, and let's see what it is. And if you're back from my first video or this is your first time stumbling across my tiny little channel, please subscribe, stay around, watch my other video. If you're coming across this later and I have other videos, watch those. Um, you know, interact with me. I, I love handbags. I love talking about them. I love all brands. Um, you know, you can learn all about that in my, my first video. So um, without any further ado, because I'm really excited to open this bad boy up, let's get to it. Oh, forgive me, I'm out of breath. I'm in the basement. I decided to walk up two flights of stairs to grab a flashlight so we can do the interior shots in case we need it. Because uh, my lighting situation is not the best for interiors of bags, um, as you learned with my first uh, bag review. So, had to go get that. But I am filming in my basement. We recently put in these new LED lights. It's the best overall lighting in my house. <sighs> so, anyway, here we are. <laughs> uh, in case you haven't assumed from the title, I got something from Coach today. Um, and this is from the boutique. This is not an outlet bag. Um, my local coach store, the closest one to me, I absolutely love them. They, I have several essays there. Um, they're all helpful. I mean, anytime you go in there, they're, what can I do for you? You know, they, they're really good. They're not pushy. I just really like them and they make you feel welcomed, which is something I haven't always felt in other designer houses, such as Prada, Louis Vuitton, stores like that I feel like I walk in and they just kind of uh, even though I own several of their items I feel like I don't belong there so it's one of the reasons I really love coach is I feel like they 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 fit and they don't seem to look down on buyers and I feel like sometimes with those luxury houses that's what I feel like so and maybe you have different experience I hope you do um, but I know from other videos I've seen I'm not the only one that feels that way so I don't know if they normally do this for everyone, but I always ask to have my stuff boxed and packaged. Um, they give you this nice black bag. It has the signature coach burnt orange in the middle or inside. Um, love these, have too many of them. I'll show you how much stuff I buy. And then, ta-da. They will box it up, um, tie the ribbon around it. It's a nice box. It's not a Louis Vuitton box, and I'm looking right there, I can see my office setup for my work from home. And the Louis Vuitton boxes are hard, 
and they have the magnetic closure and they're good quality boxes. So these boxes definitely are not that. However, for the price that their bags cost and you know, comparing all of the, the pros and cons of buying from these more contemporary brands is what I've heard them called. Um, you know, you're not gonna get that because you're not paying for it either. An equivalent bag at Louis Vuitton, $2,000, if not more, maybe three or $4,000. This with tax was 650, I think, ish. So, um, so here we are. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. All right, so here we are with the unboxing. I wanna get this on camera. Here's the pretty bow, turn it around. Um, we're just gonna pull. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this burnt orange classic coach color. Um, let me get this out of the way. And I keep all of this and I decorate my closet with it. Um, so now I'm just going to lift. I did the reveal close up. So now what you're left with is very similar to other brands. Again, the box is just a little more flimsy, but you have this coach sticker and tissue paper right, surrounded in the bag, surrounding the bag. Can't speak, I'm so excited. Um, I always try to take it off without tearing it, but too much. All right, so then you're left with this. The beautiful coach dust bag. I think most bags with the boutique come with a dust bag. I know outlet bags do not, unless you can get a boutique bag that you've purchased at the outlet specifically. So, here we are. <laughs> Let's put this down. Try not to drop everything. I don't have a good setup yet. Ugh, so I'm working on it. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna pull the dust bag out. Again, I don't know if you can tell what bag it is. Um, so that aside, and then the tissue paper does have a little horse and carriage. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that at the top in the, the darker section. It's a little horse and carriage print. I actually just noticed that I've owned and bought several coach bags and I've never noticed that before. So it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, for the brand, I think you get a lot. Um, so here we are. Just go ahead. All right, here we are, the dust bag. Okay, so before I open this, I do wanna tell a little story. <laughs> um, I went into the store tonight, no intentions on purchasing the bag. I knew the last time I was there, they had one on display. I mostly just wanted to kind of look at it. I had talked myself out of this bag several times, mostly because of the size, because the size I want was discontinued. And, Went in a couple, what, I don't know, two weeks ago and I bought my Coach Elise, which I'll do a video on too. And if it's up at this point, I'll link it. Um, and they had one of these on display. I know they're not necessarily hard to get. They're not like the Louis Vuitton bags right now where you basically have to sacrifice children to find them. But I know that they're harder to find. And I know that online, I think today or the other day, they were out of stock. Um, and I know I've seen videos of people trying to find them, so they're not impossible to find, but they're not easy to find. And they had one left today when I went just to look. The SA, you know, told me this was the last one they had. They just got it in a couple days before, if I recall. Um, but this was the last one and they weren't getting any more for a while that they knew of. And looked at it, <laughs> did my, since it was the only one also, and it was the floor model, I always inspect them really well. And I did my little look around, you know, sniff it, make sure you love it. Then I went and walked through a couple other stores. I went to a Dillard's and we went through Macy's and I always look at their coach collection just to see if they have them. And sometimes they have clearance bags. Um, maybe they have the bigger size still, I don't know. Thought about it and I decided, you know what, I want it. Um, you know, it's still cheaper than if I had gone <coughs> into Prada and tried to buy one of these. Um, you know, it's a beautiful bag. I've seen a ton of videos on it. I know I love it. So for me, it was a no-brainer to go back in there and buy it. Gordo, stealing the show, Prada. So I did. <laughs> and I am excited. So 
Okay. Back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> to pull it out a specific way and I'm trying to do it so I don't sneak a peek. Without further ado, actually I'm gonna flip it. Okay. Ta-da! The Coach Rogue 25 in the black pebbled leather the 1941, I believe it is, collection tag. This thing is just absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna give you a 360 real quickly and get the dust bag out of my way. So there's one side, the side with the zipper, the other side, the other side, <laughs> the bottom it has four feet and it just says genuine glove tan pebbled leather. And then the top. Okay, so the zipper. I talked myself out of this bag probably when I went in to buy my Elise. I talked myself out of this because I was like, the zipper is silly and preposterous. It's not preposterous, it's gorgeous. And the more I watched videos on it, the more obsessed I became. So I'm not gonna do a huge in depth tour of the bag. Um, I don't know, maybe I will. We'll see what happens. But I love it because it mixes a lot of designer, like luxury designer bags that I want. I love the Lady Dior. I can do a story time on that. I bought one from Fashion File. Condition, it was lambskin, so the condition met with the Fashion File description stated, but lambskin is just so delicate. For what I spent on it, it would have been the most expensive bag I would have purchased at the time. I think even still to date, it wasn't for me. But I loved the handles and these are very, Lady Dior-esque. Um, also love that they fold inside, which is very Montaigne from the Louis Vuitton Montaigne, which I do have one of those. And I'm excited to do a video on that. Um, also, lots of versatility with this bag. So it comes with these two straps. There's two of them. And um, one side is kind of a little more puffy. That's the exterior. The back side that touches your shoulder is flatter. It has this, you know, beautiful antiqued hardware that Coach is doing on a lot of things right now. I don't know if this will focus or not, but this is Coach there. Um, and they're the perfect little shoulder strap. Let me just show you. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm trying to go fast too, so this video is not 45 hours long. So now, you can also fold these straps in, which I'm not gonna do, but you can fold it in so it looks like that. And now you have a shoulder bag. I think that's cool. And then if that's not enough versatility, here is a thicker, same design, crossbody strap. And you clip one on, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna show you the little four tabs you just do one on each side and you just have a crossbody bag. So I think that's pretty cool. I, being a lover of top handles, will probably carry a top handle most of the time. This would be my second choice. I don't foresee me hardly ever using this. But I love coach bags because they all come with those versatility options and I think it's so cool. Even their outlet bags always have multiple strap options. And I also love that the little tabs that hang on, they even thought far enough ahead where they fold down so you don't have to see them when you're not using them. Ta-da. Um, with hang tags, I don't actually carry my hang tags. Only one bag my pride row in, I carry my hang tag. This one is beautiful, but this is a heavy hang tag. Bag's already a little heavy. I definitely won't be carrying it. So inside, it's this maroon color suede material. And I will say there was a little stain inside of the bag at the store. The lady washed it for me and she got most of it out so I think I'm okay with it. Um, but here's what the inside looks like. Um, it comes with the care instructions of course in every language. Um, and it comes with the tag and for your reference in case this is something you're interested in 
Um, there's the tag. I don't know if you can read that, but it's originally $5.95, full price, unfortunately, <laughs> not on sale. Um, if this is the front, let's say, there's like an ID slot inside of there. Let me see here if I can make this work. Yes, there's a little ID slot inside there, and then it's just a little compartment, nothing crazy. And then on the other side, same compartment with another slip pocket. This is a nice enough bag where I wouldn't want to carry it every day all the time, but I would want to carry it a lot. So let's go back in here. So this, two zippers, it's a beautiful distressed gold, antiqued gold. You open it up, the zippers go all the way down the sides on both sides. But the bag itself, there's leather sides here, so when it's closed, nothing's gonna fall out. And then inside, it's this untreated canvas, and it is absolutely beautiful. The Coach Creed Story Patch is in there, and it's one big open compartment, and one buttoned slip pocket, which I'm going to unbutton and show you. And I'm sorry if you can't see well. Um, I do, my only concern with this bag, of course, as we discussed, is the size of the bag. So I want to see if my biggest wallet would fit. This is my Prada giant wallet. Love it so much. And it actually will not fit. Okay. Well. Okay. <sighs> Let me go upstairs and find one of my coach wallets. I'll be right all the way back upstairs again. Here's one of my coach wallets compared to my Prada wallet. It's a little bit shorter. So this bag does have these edges which help keep your stuff from falling out when it's zipped. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, so when you put stuff in, you just kind of have to put it in a little bit of an angle, but it does fit. There's lots of room left. So I'm not gonna make this a whole what fits but before I decide to keep the bag, I need to see if my essentials will fit because if they don't, unfortunately, I don't have room for the bag in my collection. So in this pocket would go my wallet, my catch-all, my coin thing, my key pouch, which if I had to stop carrying would not be the end of the world. Um, and then, Probably my car key for sure. Like I said, just getting a rough idea of if this will work before I decide to keep it because if I need to take it back, I will. My car key, I like to keep that somewhere a little bit more secure. So that's all my goodies. So it does fit them, not a lot of extra room. You know, if you look in here, there's just a bunch of junk, <laughs> you know, the, the catch-all junk. Um, my pill bottle, of course, I always have to have my ibuprofens and stuff with me. So those do fit. And I'll say there's not a ton of extra room. And then you know, just a few other odds and ends on the outside. You know, I'm not committing to switching bags yet, but do need to know. I always have to have my mints with me. And then, you know, just a few other things, nothing important. So technically everything does fit. It doesn't bulk the bag up too terribly much. It's a little heavy, but I knew it would be. Um, I did notice a little bit of a scuffage on one of the handles. I mean, it's a true leather bag, so I'm not too terribly upset about that. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it 100% yet. Um, I think I may try to just kind of put this stuff in it and let it sit around the house for a little while. Sometimes that's what I'll do because, of course, I don't carry bags if I don't know if I want to keep them because I'm not going to return something I've used. So that is my unboxing and very quick review, first glance review of the Coach Rogue 25 in pebbled black leather with the antique gold hardware. 
I think it's an absolutely stunning bag. I feel like it's a really well-built bag. That's another reason that I was attracted to it. You know, I feel like the Louis Vuitton quality lately has not been what I feel like it should be for the price. So I am excited to have this in my collection. And, you know, if I decide I'm going to return it uh, before I post this video, I'll let you know. And I'll come on at the end and say, hey, I decided to return the bag. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think it does fit everything I would want it to. It's about the same size as my Kate Spade Marco. Um, so it's not a bag like this where I can fit anything and everything. I mean, you wouldn't think there's much of a difference here. But there is. This thing is huge. <laughs> um, and I'm not sad that I can't use my Prada wallet. Uh, I love my Coach wallets and I have a ton of them. But I mean, this does fit a ton. I mean, I don't know how well you as a viewer can see that, but there's a ton in there. So I think the 30 size would have been a better choice if they still made it. They don't, so I, I do. But you know, you're at your store, you pay. Go to put my wallet back. Um, you know, it's not as convenient to get in and out as I would want, but it does work. It's lovely. The leather is so soft yet structured. I love it. I'll let you know for sure, like I said, if I decide to keep it, there'll be no additions to this video. If I do decide I want to return it, I'll pop on and say, unfortunately, I returned her. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos when I post new ones. Um, let me know if you have this bag. Let me know your feedback. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know tips and tricks on how to pack it. And, you know, if there's anything that I'm doing that, you know, you know, hey, if you try this instead, maybe this would work. Um, let me know. Like maybe, this is ridiculous. I only have one key in here. Don't need this. So if this is something I can take out, can't use the small bags anyway, um, I will. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye guys.